Why Gopi is such a gower, dumb, soft Nirvana Sathya Indian drama review. We all have seen Gopi always bowing her head in front of Kokila. Why does Gopi behave in this way? Do you think she is actually that dumb and naive as she looks? Gopi was an orphan who gets to become the rich daughter-in-law of Modi family with a big house and full of jewelries. Well, growing up, Gopi had a dark side in her which existed for not existing any caregivers or loved ones. Gopi deliberately acts submissive in front of Kokila to show her what a loser and perverted mother-in-law she is. Though, Kokila being the smartest, understand Gopi's mockery and becomes more cruel to her and treats her like a free slave who is destined to be dominated by her. In some scenes, Kokila talks pridely about Gopi to show her what self-sacrificing, overloaded, worthless loser she is. Gopi, instead of getting hurt by that, chooses to act submissive without any hesitation as usual. If we notice deeply, we also see Gopi gives manly vibes. She lacks of feminine vibes and softness, which also reflects from her flat body. Besides, she isn't interested in protecting her feminine energy, as we see, she takes part in cooking and cleaning, arranging decorations in the house. She also doesn't like to groom herself with makeup and fancy saris like Rashi, which reveals more about her. Overall, it makes sense that, there is a man lives inside her who adjusted with strict Modi family well, because of her homemaking skills. Because of the existence of man inside Gopi, she accepted her dramatic life in Modi house through arranged marriage with Ahem. If she was feminine, she would have never accepted her husband not loving her and saying her cruel words with cruel behavior. Because of her manly behavior, she didn't care about Ahem too. You know, I think I'll tell you the story of my life. No way, I want to too. I was born in Animus, North Dakota, a long time ago, see? And now I'm lucky enough to be here with you. Yeah, but what's happened to the tree? Pretty much like this. If you were on Christmas Day, I could give you a cup of cocoa. If and if there was cocoa.